Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the info command. What is the info command? It is a powerful documentation tool that offers extensive and interconnected information for various software packages. Its hierarchical structure, hyperlink navigation, and comprehensive content make it an excellent source for users seeking detailed documentation and a deeper understanding of the software they are working with. While the man command remains a concise and straightforward reference for quick information lookup, the info command shines when users require more comprehensive and in-depth documentation. It is particularly valuable for those seeking a deeper understanding of software functionality, usage examples, configuration options, and troubleshooting guides. Okay. I've opened up terminal and I'm going to type in the info command. Uh, yeah, I've been using this a lot lately. And I have to say, it, <laughs> if I'd have known about this earlier, this would have saved me hours and hours and hours of, of searching the internet. I can't believe how extensive this thing is and how powerful of a tool it is. I, I always thought something like this should be there, but I never really heard anything about it never seen anything in my system about it but anywho enough of me ramp enough of me rambling on let's get into this uh go ahead and type in the info command if you're following along and that'll bring this up uh let's go okay let's read this out first uh this is the info main menu aka directory mode a few useful info commands q for quits capital h or shift H lists all info commands. Lowercase h starts the info tutorial. Mtext info ret visits the text info manual, etc. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit shift H. And this brings up all the commands. Um all the basic info com info commands that it has available for you. So H Close the help window, quit info, uh, invoke, page uh, page up, page down, arrow key up, um, and it's got it all in here. It's all in here. I mean, it, it's pretty extensive. I'm just scrolling down so you can see everything it does rapidly here. Um, lowercase l. Oh, sorry. Got a Q, hit Q first. I'll close that out. Um... Say you wanted to know anything about Nano. Nano, it comes in default on the Debian distributions, usually. Well, it does for like Ubuntu and I believe Mint and a few others, but it, it, it's pretty much a standard for it. I mean, some have been installed on there too. Some have either or. Um, say you're on a distribution that has Nano installed and you wanted to find out about it. Just scroll down to Nano, hit enter, and this will bring it up. The manual, this manual document, GNU Nano version 6.2 menu. Now you can go to the introduction about it, invoking, editor basics, the help, file view, the file viewer, or browser, excuse me. Command line options, feature topics, Nano RC files, Pico compatibility, building and its options. So let's go to, heck, let's go to the, uh, ooh, ah, heck with that. let's go to editor basics. Um, scroll down to using the mouse, anchors, limitations, entering text, commands. Let's go to commands, I went over by it. Commands are given by using the control key, control home, as the uh, up arrow, or the meta key, alt or command, shown as M. A control dash key sequence is entered by holding down the control key and pressing the desired key. A meta key sequence is entered by holding down the meta key. Alright, let's click back on that, lowercase l. 
um, yeah, it'll bring up everything in here on screen layout, entering text commands, the cube cube the cute buffer. If I can talk, geez, the mark search and replace using the mouse anchors limitations. Hotel again. And on the main menu, introduction to booking editor for Nano, that is editor basics to help viewer, file browser, command line options, feature toggles, the Nano RC files. If you ever wanted to learn about the Nano RC files, uh, dive into that real quick. I'll read the first paragraph. Nano RC files can be used to configure Nano to your liking without using command line options. During startup, Nano will normally read two files. First, the system-wide file. Etc. Etsy slash nano RC. The exact path may be different on your system. I believe that's how it is on mine. Uh, and then the user specific file, either home directory dot nano RC or dollar sign XTG config home slash nano nano RC dot config slash nano nano RC, whichever exists first, however. RC file is given, Nano will skip the above, the above files and will read just the specific settings for the file. Alright, let's go back all the way up to the main menu. Um, yeah, it's got every single command or command option. Well, command inside of here. Say, oh, let's go back up. Shoot, I way overshot what I was looking for. Sorry about that. All right. So you wanted to learn how to make, make directory. You scroll down to it. Make directory. Make info invocation preview and the invocation up specific file types. Uh, 12.3, make directory, make directories. Make directory creates directories with the specific names and the synopsis make directory option name. Make directory creates each directory name is name in the order given it reports an error if name already exists unless the da uh, dash p option of the flag is is given and name direct is a directory so you can learn about nano make directory all that stuff it's a really extensive program i mean it's got a lot in there and it keeps going and going and going And finally hit the bottom <laughs> 197 lines um yeah yeah i could spend days in here look reading up on this uh the grub everything you wanted to know about grub uh the grand you find a bootloader grub dev grub invoke and grub install grub make config but yeah it's like i said like I keep repeating myself, <laughs> it's a really extensive informational program that uses hypertext for uh, navigation. It it it's a great thing. I mean, wow. <laughs> Anyways, enough uh, rambling on about this program that I should have known a long time time ago about, but I've been using it for. A little while now and I'm I'm liking it um one other thing is let's get out of it um say you can actually replace uh um the man pages with this say okay let's do man man they wanted the man page of man there you go Q for quit. Info man does the same thing. So if you ever got in the habit of doing it, you could uh, swap out man for info if you uh, so wanted to. Alrighty, anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.